Maranatha, my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another quick bite, living the word. Today our word is going to come from Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And uh, we're going to pick up at verse 9. And I want to talk about a principle. I know you guys heard me talk about in the past. I think I, I even maybe on a quick bite, I'm not positive. But I want to talk about a principle that I think is so important for us to recognize. Uh, because I hear more and more people having a problem with this and, and having struggles with this in places they're going and, and, where, and where they're at, uh, maybe even fellowshipping at. So... I just want to read to you uh, something from the Apostle Paul and then come on and expound on it. So uh, let's say, uh, let, let's pick it up at verse 9. We're actually just reach down, that we're going to read down just through verse 10. It says, For I am the least of the apostles, that I am not meet to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with, which was with me. Now, why I read that to us this morning is because, uh, yes, we talk about the grace of God and how Paul received the grace of God and all those things. And those are beautiful things. I'm not taking away from any of that, guys. But what I really want to talk about was this. It's a principle that you guys heard me talk about where I call damage not ruined. We have a lot of damaged believers out there. We have a lot of damaged people out there. But that does not mean we're ruined for the case and cause of Christ. As some people would like to, to uh, presume, that if you didn't keep this perfect life, or even after you came to Christ, you maybe had a fall, or, or you've had some struggles, or whatever the case may be, that you have, somehow are no longer worthy to be utilized of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm telling you right now, that is not true. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> excuse me, as a matter of fact, the whole Bible is full of stories of men and women who were damaged and not ruined. They were able to be, continue to be used of God, and were used in great ways of God. I mean, we can go all the way back. Let's just go back and look at, you know, obviously, we'll just pick on, for example, Noah. He was a drunkard, but he was used of God. You know, we could take a look, we could take a look at Moses. He was a murderer, but used of God. You know, with David, of course, we could look at his life. We talk about his all the time. Solomon, you know, we talk about his life, right? I mean, it's like, guys, we look at all these people who were damaged, but not ruined. And this is so important for us to recognize because, honestly, at the end of the day, this is the point of our walk with Jesus Christ. This is what makes grace so important, is that we can still be utilized of God. Now, certainly, I have shared that with you guys before. There are certain offices within the church structure that you are withheld from holding depending on how you're damaged. But that doesn't mean that you cannot be used of God. And that's one of those things that really, I think, honestly, we've mistaken. And so now what's happened is we've taken, uh, because we understand, some of us understand a little bit of that principle, we've made it a very liberal thing and opened everything up to everybody. But on the other hand, there's those, us, th- there's those, those other group that has taken it so serious that we've closed it to everybody. And I'm telling you, neither one of those is correct. According to the Lord, it's this way. I ha- he has standards, but those standards are, are not, they're not like these things that we go, okay, well, now that means I can't be utilized again. That's not the point. He wants to utilize his children. He loves you and wants to use you. Just as he did the Apostle Paul. Now, when you think about Paul's life, right? I mean, like he says there, I'm not even worthy to be called an apostle, but praise be to God, he has called me. Why? Because he loves me because of his grace. And because of that love and that grace, it has, told, it has made me or it's driven me to want to be the most I can possibly be and do the most for him I possibly can. I think that's part of the problem with those who maybe haven't had damages in their life because they really haven't examined their sin in their life according to God's word. But those who haven't had damages in their life, sometimes uh, they have a tendency, or as they think they have, uh, they have a tendency to look down on those who have. But they also have a tendency to get self-righteous and prideful and kind of lazy in their Christianity because I'm okay. As opposed to maybe those of us who maybe come from more of a damaged background and more of a damaged area, we go, you know what? It drives us harder towards the Lord and want to do more for Him. So the point of the matter is, guys, is what we need to really look at when we look, look at our life and examine our lives is very simple. God has called you. If you're His cho- if you're of His chosen, you're one who's trusted in the Lord Jesus Christ through His death, burial, and resurrection for your salvation and nothing else. He wants to use you. He wants to utilize you. And He desires you to be utilized of Him, to bring glory to His name. So don't let anyone hinder you in being able to serve the Lord Jesus Christ in a capacity in which you feel you're called. And if you're sitting under a church or you're sitting under a a, a system that won't allow you to be utilized, I'm going to be honest with you. Find one that will. Talk to your pastor. Sometimes pastors just don't even know. They don't know that you want to be utilized. Talk to them. Hey, I would like to do something. Here's Here's what I feel called to do. Here's what I feel I have a passion for. Can I try this out? And 
by all means. I mean, like I said, the, the man, the man has been led of the Spirit of God and understands the grace of God and understands the damn he's not ruined the principle, then he's going to open up the opportunity for you to be able to serve him in any capacity that, that the Lord calls you into. So I hope this encourages you this morning, guys. And I hope it also just reminds you, don't sit back. Don't let others hold you back from doing what God has called you to do. Get out there and do it. Paul was a preacher, right? Ah, oh, no problem. Okay, and there's all sorts of things, guys. It's just he went on to be an apostle. I mean, guys, because of the damage not ruined theory, uh, not theory, but principle, we need to understand how important this really is in this day and age. Well, I love you. We love you. God loves you, and God's got this. <laughs>